God wants you to be a peacemaker. And I pray that you say yes. God wants you to heal conflicts. Can I share that I've been in ministry for 40 plus years? Yes, very long. And I have seen so many church groups, prayer groups, prayer communities, spiritual organizations, religious organizations, split, divide, break up. Why? Because the leaders are fighting each other. And just like any ordinary family, when the parents are fighting, guess who gets caught in the crossfire? The children. You know, when a divorce takes place, when there's a separation in the family, it's the children that hurt the most. In the same way, when the leaders are fighting and they don't talk to each other and they form separate groups, it's the members whose hearts are broken because they're, they're not fighting each other. But no, the leaders are. And many times, and please understand this, my heart goes out to any community and any group that fight and split and break up. I really do. And I, I don't know if there is another way. Some people say there's no other way, bro. We, brother, but we, we had to break up, perhaps. But I will still insist that we be peacemakers and that we heal our conflicts. I'll tell you why. When I speak to these leaders, I challenge them. Are you putting your own agenda over the agenda of God? I'll tell you why. Because they will justify their conflict and their fights by saying, this is a matter of principle. This is a matter of God's mission. And I say, what is God's mission? And, and he will say, oh, my mission is this, 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 and the other group is not doing this. And I say, we report to a God who has the greatest overall mission. And you know what that overall mission is this? It's this, so that people will know that we are His disciples. By the way we love each other, that's what Jesus said. In our Gospel for the day, Jesus says that a kingdom divided against itself will fall into ruin. A house divided against itself will fall. I really believe that the body of Christ is wounded and it is self-inflicted. It doesn't come from the outside. We inflict that wound from the inside when we prioritize our agenda over God's agenda. What is God's agenda? That we become one, that we love each other. And can I pray right now that we become peacemakers? And I repeat, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that there, we, we, we should you know, forget all the, the things that happened and all the wounds and all the past. and. You know, Maybe we need grace, supernatural grace. The answer is not easy. But let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we're praying for the impossible. We don't know how it will happen. But help me to become a peacemaker wherever I go. Help me to be the source of healing for conflicts, to point people to forgive, to serve each other, to be selfless. Help me, Jesus to help others love like you. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. Do you feel stuck in your financial life? And do you want financial freedom? Do you want financial growth? Do you want to go to the next level? My friend, there is a way. Come and join TRC or Truly Rich Club. For almost 20 years, we've been able to help thousands of people grow in their finances. It's your turn. Visit trulyrichclub.com and change your financial life today.